Did you know that directly following the Russian Revolution and throughout the 1920s, young socialists had a distinct fashion style? In a 1925 issue of Robinitsa magazine, which roughly translates to working woman, this style is discussed in a little more detail. Indeed, young socialists had apparently developed their own distinctive fashion style. The protagonist of one story had hair cut short in the Komsomol fashion. She wore a scarf as red as a poppy and a short black skirt. On her shoulders sat a devilish garment, a leather jacket. The leather jacket was an unequivocal sign that this young woman, Marussia, had joined the communists and was devilish only to her backwards father. By the end of the story, despite her iconoclastic appearance, she had managed to convert not only him, but his entire village to socialism. And you'll see that many early paintings or paintings about the revolution or directly after will show young women dressed in this way. Red scarf, leather jacket, and a relatively short black skirt for the time.